Hey now, welcome to another Race Grooves Weekend Show. You know, the first few shows I did, I stood over here. And then when I watch in the editing, you know, I'm underneath this fluorescent light right here. I can see it shining on my bald head. Not to mention today, I'm a little warm because I didn't turn on the air conditioner in the room. So today, I want to stand over here. No fluorescent light, no, uh, no shimmering off the top of the head. So let's go ahead and get with today's uh, videos. I'm going to talk about other things on YouTube, some news. I'll refresh some comments that people have posted. Ask Race Grooves. There's a hashtag, Ask Race Grooves. So some people have been posting uh, on Instagram or whatnot. Let's go ahead and get to my first topic today. There's another YouTuber. He's been making stop motion videos for several years now. Uh, I recognize his name right away. I've been subscribed to him for a long time. The King Racer 007. Uh, he's been doing stop motion videos. They're kind of fun to watch. They, they take a lot of time to make, though. That's why, you know, people ask me, can I make them? Can't do it. They just take a lot of time. So if you would, check out his channel. Check out his videos. The links are down below. Anything I mention, the links are down below in the description. On one of my track time videos, it was my uh, track time 2015 jump a loser Nikita Carmichael posted, I'm a girl. That's 12. And I love Hot Wheels. How weird is that? That's not weird at all. Girls drive cars, so why can't they collect or have fun with cars? They're just toys, right? So if you like them, have fun with them. And by the way, if you post and comment on my channel, uh, I read every comment, any, uh, any reply, everything. <laughs> I keep tabs on everything. So if anybody harasses anybody, I'm on it right away or as soon as possible. So don't worry about uh, posting on my channel. I will not let the trolls uh, be around to abuse you or anybody else. In the Race Grooves community on Facebook, again, the link's down below. It's a community for people to share pictures of their finds, of things in their, you know, what they like to collect and things of that nature. So Robert Kell, he's uh, from Australia, it appears. He posted uh, some pics of some new mystery models. Well, he posted a picture of one of them, but at least we got a uh, we got a list here. If you'd like to check that out, out of all those cars there, you know what? Uh, it's nice to see that Furiosity is back. You have an Acceleracers model with high voltage, and oh yeah, look at that Mazda Ferrari. I'm sure that'll be a popular model. Now he's in Australia, so I don't know why Mattel does this, but <laughs> they, have, they seem to have different mystery models for different regions of the world. Right now, I think we're getting a bifocal two in uh, Walmart's in the USA, and just boxes after boxes after boxes, same mix, same mixes, same cars. It's like, how many did they make? Man, I, I wish that tell me. Let's take a closer look at that tumbler. Now, I, I wish that uh, the tumbler would appear in our mix as well. Maybe they will show up. I don't know. I don't work for Mattel. I don't know. We just whatever shows up, that's what we get. Also from the race groups community. Israel Diaz shared pics of a new nine pack, a new multi pack. What caught my eye was the Roger Dodger with the Valentine's Day deco. Now, if you didn't know, there is a uh, racer segment, a holiday racer segment from 2017, or I should say for 2017. Here's the HW Papa Wheelie for Halloween from my uh, 2017 A Hot Wheels case unboxing video. Now, if you already see my worldwide video, uh, this snippet is actually from my USA case that's going to come up this coming weekend. So you're getting a little preview of next weekend's case unboxing video. If you look on the roof, it says 2016. Well, that's because it's for the calendar year 2016, not necessarily being in the 2017 assortment from Hot Wheels. Pictures on the Internet have already revealed that uh, 16 Angels is going to be for Christmas and it's going to be a super treasure hunt. There will also be a regular release as well, not just the Super Treasure Hunt. So after Israel showed that pack, I had to go out and look, and I did pick up a, a nine pack. I got this one here, had a pretty good mix of cars, had the Salt Shaker and Roger Dodger. And Roger Dodger, as you can see, has the Valentine's Day deco. Salt Shaker hasn't been out in a while. I remember it being used in the Dale Earnhardt series. Can't remember after that. This 2012 Volkswagen Beetle and Midnight Auto. I think these two, these might be exclusives. These might be multi-pack exclusives. We'll see. Here's the 12 Acura NSX Concept and the 07 Ford Mustang. Of course, that Mustang's from the Art Car Series. 
But look at the Acura. Wow, love, love the black, flat black with red accents. This 12 Acura NSX Concepts, probably my pick out of the whole box. Here you have a Corvette ZR1 with apparently a race team decos. Formula flashback, that's a 2016. That was like a late 2016 new model. So I don't know if this is a recolor for 2016 or is it gonna be exclusive color? I don't know. Well, speak, speaking of exclusives, this 68 Mercury Cougar will be exclusive to nine packs only. You won't find it in other multi-packs. Now you can use the Ask Race Screws hashtag on Instagram, Twitter. I do a search before I do this video to see if there's a question that I can feature. Sometimes people wanna send me a private message on Instagram, that's fine too. When you do, try to put this blue box as part of, the, uh, as part of your PM to me, because then when I go through my PMs, it's easier for me to see it, like right here with Vinderman 02. You know, it was real easy. I see the image right there, and you know, you can see that's from like five days ago, six days ago, I forget. Well, I, all I do is scroll through my PMs and I see the blue box, boom. I know that's something I might wanna ask or talk about during this weekend show. He's having a hard time finding cars in his area of the world. And that he heard that Hot Wheels won't be doing Ferrari anymore. Should he start collecting fantasy models or just start stop collecting? And I told him, I responded already because I didn't know if I was going to get to it here. But you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you just got to find out when the stores put out their stock. And he's, I think he said from the UK. So, you know, it might be hard for him too because they have to wait for importers to bring this stuff in. You know, it's not like the USA where we just have everybody carrying Hot Wheels. It's not the same over there in the UK. So now I, I would not recommend to him to start collecting fantasy models because he f can't find nothing else. If you want to collect fantasy models, go for it. I like to collect them too, right? But it's important for you long term that you enjoy collecting those cars because I don't want you to be frustrated and say, well, I'll just buy that. And then six months, a year later, you, you look at yourself and say, why did I buy that? Yeah, don't do that. If you like them, buy them, okay? Buy what you like. Buy what you can afford and enjoy the hobby. Now, he, he also talked about quitting. You know what? I've been there too. There were 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008. You know, I was buying very little. But then when I started doing this channel, I started growing the channel. I got back into it again. Now, I never totally left like he's suggesting. But uh, I did, there were some definitely some uh, thin times. So let's recap this week's Race Grooves video. You know, I'm still showing some of the stuff that I bought from the 2016 Hot Wheels convention. I showed some Disney Rangers, Disney Rangers, Disney Racers, Power Rangers, and Toy Story uh, models that I picked up at the show. Some of the stuff I had, some of them I didn't. So it's nice to get extras. And others, it was nice to fill some spots that I could use some models. Halloween was recently. I did four packs of Matchbox creepy cars from around 2005 open them up so i did a uh, classic matchbox uh, surprise eggs unboxing video all these links are in the description below now if you want to send fan mail like uh someone has shown me already this was in a previous one and i need to get away to maybe have people send uh, pictures digitally as well uh, you know i can pop them up here just like that too so i gotta figure that out maybe maybe people can Maybe people can use the ask hashtag race screw ask. I always get that mixed up. Ask race screws hashtag. I just say just tag. Me. You can use. <laughs> you got it. Uh, maybe there's a pic you want to share. Maybe you want to uh, take a picture of instead of mailing it in. You could draw a picture, take a picture, put it on your Instagram account. Uh, or if you're an adult and you're doing it for a child, you can email it to me race screws at gmail.com. Kids, please do not email me. Uh, I want uh, ages 13 and up, please, okay? It's not uh, email, email, emails for business, okay? Not for chatting. And to wrap things up, I did a track time video last weekend. And if you don't recognize this, cause it's because I changed the thumbnail. And uh, yesterday, I also had the worldwide case unboxing videos. And thankfully, YouTube finally made these clickable. You can be on your phone and you can select either one of these videos if you'd like to check them out. Or you can watch, you know, uh, a previous Ask Ray Screws or a weekend show. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.